Hello guys, it's me, Mr. White, today with a new video. We'll talk about the new update, obviously, especially about the Nordschleife. And I have a special goodie for you. Maybe at the end of the video, I found some kind of a car point glitch, a possibility to upgrade your car faster even if you don't have enough car points at the moment. This will especially work for career mode, maybe for multiplayer, I didn't check it uh, there since I don't want to use glitches in multiplayer lobbies. Yeah, stay until the end. Uh, it would be cool. Let's fix the Audi. We drive today with my favorite car again. I already did the tune for it. Let me find it. Norchlife. Yeah, they really tried to fix a lot of stuff in this new update. Um, the most important thing for me was the performance on PC, especially the memory leak. Forza said they they optimized the use of the CPU and GPU to get a more stable frame rate. I don't know, man. I never had issues with the frame rate. My problem is after a few races, my FPS will suddenly drop to 20s, which is horrible, and I always have to restart the game to get rid of. As far as I've seen, I have seen <coughs> this problem uh, further occurs. Yeah. Okay, we go here for a race, standing start. Let's see if we can beat them. We want to stay clean, clean and fair. As we normally do. If you made it till here, still listening to my <laughs> not all too good English. Maybe consider to drop me a like. Wow, that was terrible. Maybe give me a subscribe or even a like. Everything counts. It would mean a lot for me. Yeah. Okay, we made it through the first couple corners. Racing line is not too bad so far. Only three guys in front of us. So, we fight for the podium again, right? Maybe let me know in the comments what you guys like or hate about the Nordschleife. Personally, I think it's made absolutely gorgeous. The feeling is awesome. The look is very good, the graphics, the details. Yeah, I think they did a really, really good job with this track and also with the latest, latest update. Very cool overtake here. Now let's defend this new position. Ah, I should have drive me warm before. This is my first race today. After waking up, feeling a bit rusty. <laughs> Very slow around this corner. I'm not sure. They talked about fixing the AI, the really bad behavior of the AI. I had some <coughs> terrible races yesterday and I had some good races. So I'm not really sure if we can say they fixed the AI. Also here, 
would be interested to hear your opinions. What was I wanted to say? Look up how very good these trees are looking. The whole track looks awesome. The textures on the concrete, the paintings, the flags. It's just very well done. We're using every bit of slipstream that we can get here from this Hyundai. Losing a bit of pace here. Okay, now we go. Let me pause. Sorry for the collision. Oh my god. And again. For those who are wondering, I set the difficulty to level 6, <coughs> but I have a feeling the AI is pretty slow on this track, I don't know. Usually it's much harder to gain the first position. Nearly go off here. Very good, very good cornering. It gives me really a lot of pleasure, this track. I already driven it maybe 50 times, I don't know. It's a bit sad, it's not in the multiplayer right now. Or not as far as I've seen. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me in the comments. Yeah, we go pretty... Pretty fast for just waking up, right? Already have a good gap to the follower. A bit of tire screech, but it's not too bad. was not good, man. Yeah. Of course we lose some places now. But we will get them back very shortly. Maybe a very important thing that I completely forgot to mention in the beginning. Be careful when you choose your fuel for the Nordschleife. There was a race with only one lap and I set my fuel to two laps. And you know what? The fuel was empty after maybe a bit more than half of the lap. <coughs> You should always put your fuel at 100% here, the Nordschleife. I hope they, they'll they address this in a future update. Because that sucks hard, right? <laughs> okay, we follow this link. Look at that, man. Audi goes 265. They even could choose a bit of the gears more. Maybe could go 270. Nice and slow here around this S corner. Downshift, Axel, leaving them behind in the dust. And we already enter in the lap number two. 
going good so far. Sad that we did this crash before. This is actually good, this should give me a 10, I guess. And second score is 10. Yeah, that's good, I'm happy with that. No lift here. 254. No! Oh, wow, that was so close. It actually shocked me for a moment. I will just shut up for a moment. We do so some ASMR, right? Going a bit wide here. Yeah, so far it's working pretty good. Maybe I should... Um, bring up the difficulty to 8. I never tried with difficulty on 8. Okay, I shifted a bit too early into the 6th gear. As you can see, how oh, this lazy now. Oh my god. Oh my god. It was so good until this moment.
We don't talk about that, okay? <laughs> this cut was not because I crashed again like a maniac. No. It was just a glitch. Yeah. yeah. Let's call it a glitch. It was the game's fault, you know? Going here fast around this long right-hander. Got the perfect line for the next part. Very nice. And this time we go perfectly fine. <laughs> or nearly perfectly fine into this section here. It's a very good track part, in my opinion. I love it a lot. Since I know that people don't have an attention span these days, maybe I will fast forward this last uh, part, just in case. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, as mentioned earlier in the video, I will show you this very cool car point glitch. I found it just yesterday. I think they will patch it out in the future. Probably, but for the moment it's working. I chose this Lamborghini. It's uh, level 16, I guess. And if you go here, custom upgrade, performance, you see we have to 1050 car points at the moment. So let's just put in very expensive parts to get rid of the points first. It, it's not really important what we choose right now. I just use all. 150 left. Okay. Now you see, we only have 50 left, but let's say we we want the race tire compound. We st but we don't have the points now. So we just go here, compound. Oh shit, we already have sport. Oh no, it's fine. You see, if we would choose race, we got below 650. But... Let me show you. We choose it anyway. We go back by one step in the in the menu. And then we hover over the cheapest part with our mouse. I don't know if it's working on a controller or on a console, but at PC it works. We was here, look at the points. And we just hover the border over stock. And we get back 1050 points. Okay. Finish upgrades. Look here. Boom. Confirm. Confirm. Let him save. If we go here, we see already the, the tires changed back. I mean, the pressure. And if we go here, fuel and tires. Look at this. We really have the racing tires. Isn't this cool? You can uh, do this with every car part that you like, with every amount of points. Just be sure that you have only one part worth of uh, too much points. You cannot use it with different parts at all. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Maybe give me a subscribe or a comment or a like. It would mean really a lot for me. Thank you guys. Catch you next time. Bye.